how to install Docker in Windows-like systems with Ansible. Today I'm going to reveal how to install software in a Windows managed host using Chocolately Package Manager. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Chocolately is the package manager for Windows. It has the largest online registry of Windows packages. At the moment, it counts nearly 9,000 community-maintained packages. Today, we are talking about module win underscore chocolately to automate software installation process. The full name is chocolately dot chocolate dot win underscore chocolately which means that is part of a collection distributed directly by chocolately yes there is a lot of chocolate here it manages package packages in windows using chocolately it's the windows correspondent of the ansible package module Parameters. The parameter list is pretty wide, but uh, these four are the most important options. In the name parameter, you are going to specify the package name or a list of packages. If you would like to install a specific version, you could specify the, that in the version parameter. The state specify the action that we would like to perform. In our case, for install, is present or latest. Demo time. Are you ready? To make your hands dirty, let's jump in a quick live demo of a playbook about how to install Docker in Windows-like system with Ansible Playbook. Wait a minute. There are different flavors of Docker. Which one is available in Chocolately? Go to community.chocolately.org and you can find out which packages are available. So in the search box, search for Docker. Ah, uh, damn it, I did a typo, I forgot the E. And if you type correctly, you find out what are the possible options. As you can see, there are deprecated things, CLI only, the engine that is more or less only for developers and system admin that would like only the engine of a technology but in this demo I will focus on Docker Desktop that is the package version 4.4.4 downloaded <laughs> one incredible number of time and as you can see there are a lot of information you can take a look also for the view scan and more information and feedback from a user so this is the package that we are going to download and automate the install with Ansible. Welcome to my editor. I will show you one playbook to install Docker in Windows system. First of all, let's begin our playbook with Freedash. So it's a YAML document. Let's start our play with a name, install Docker, that is going to target hosts all of my inventory. Become is set to false because uh, it's not used in a Windows host. Never gather underscore facts because I don't need to acquire any information from this machine. The only things that I would like to do is to perform one task name install docker. And here we go that is going to use the chocolately module inside chocolately dot is the 
collection.chocolately is the namespace dot win underscore chocolately that is the module name one parameter the name of the package as we said before docker dash desktop is the package name and the state must be present on the target host if you prefer to have verify the latest version available of the package switch to latest and that's it no more no more to write in 10 lines of code we are able to connect to our windows machine and perform the installation of docker software super easy don't you think so And welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me execute my code to install Docker. Uh, I'm going to start with ansible playbook command. Let me specify the parameter dash e for the inventory and finally the playbook path. In my case, under install Docker directory. And this is going to take some moment. Uh, Ansible actually is connecting with a target to the target machine is using the WinRAM technology. Once the connection is established, the target machine is going to download the package from the chocolate registry and install on the target machine. This is taking care also of enabling some feature on this machine. For example, need the Hyper-V Windows feature enabled on the machine. And this is going to take a while because it's considered like a dependency that must be satisfied on the target host. So don't be surprised if this task is going to take some moment some long moment i'm talking about minutes and more and more for this video specifically i speed up a little bit the process just to demonstrate that the status of ansible is going to be a changed when the action is successfully performed on the target host. This is a normal module state that we are receiving when any action are performed on the target machine. What happens if we run again the same exact playbook with Docker already installed? We are going to find out. I'm expecting the module to be hidden potent so which means that uh, if no further action were executed, I'm expecting to receive the one OK status uh, on the command line. And here we go. So it appears that uh, Ansible performed the Docker installation of Docker Desktop on the target machine. Let's double check. And welcome to my demo Windows machine. This is a Windows Server 2019 machine that I'm using in my laboratory for this type of uh, demo. So I was recording this session while the playbook was running. And as you can see, there will be some magic happening on the desktop. Here we go. Docker desktop magically appear on this machine. This is done by Ansible on the background. And now we are ready to execute and have some fun. The same icon is already present also in the start menu. And what happens if we run this code? Oh, we received an error that the user need to be included in user in docker dash user group so let me disconnect from this user and i really recommend you to reboot directly the server because if any hyper-v windows feature was installed and let me reconnect once uh, once again to see this result and after the reboot here we uh, again let me execute the 
Docker desktop, this is a virtual machine, so I'm not expecting it to have 100% experience because Hyper-V is limited on this type of setup. And as expected, we are reaching out one error, but the most important part is that Docker desktop is available on this machine and we can proceed further mm, with the setup. So I'm going to show you, okay, sure. Service agreement is important. We can take a look and accept the condition to proceed. And once everything is done, we are going to see the Docker desktop UI. Again, this is a virtual machine, so I'm expecting some errors, but the most important part is that the dashboard is going to be available. And here we are, is loading, and finally we are going to see the user Docker desktop. In this UI, you are able to search for the container and manage also the volume and all the important parameters. In my case, it's failed to start, but this is done automatically by Ansible behind the scene, and this is quite magic, isn't it? Now you know how to install Docker in Windows-like systems with Ansible. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment, and in general, keep in touch with me. See us on the next IT adventure and let's automate more with Ansible Pilot. Bye! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.